At the moment, the pump is not running, so both the pressure regulator valve and the pressure relief valve are fully closed, and the accumulator piston is pushed fully down by the pressurised nitrogen above it, generally referred to as the gas pressure. The pump now starts turning, and as it does, it tries to push fluid into a closed system that is already full. Because fluid is incompressible, this cannot occur, so when the fluid finds nowhere to go, the pressure builds up, and as it does, it forces the accumulator piston upward. When the pressure builds up to a preset value, the pressure regulator valve starts to open to give the excess fluid a return path back to the reservoir. If the regulator valve failed to operate, in order to prevent damage to the hydraulic lines and components, the pressure relief valve will open to maintain a pressure slightly higher than the setting of the regulator valve. If we activate a large hydraulic actuator, the sudden demand for fluid exceeds the output of the pump into the system, so the pressure drops. When the pressure below the accumulator piston is less than the pressure above it, the piston is forced down, pushing some of its reserve store of fluid out into the system to cater for this demand until the regulator valve can close to reduce the amount of fluid being returned to the reservoir and allow more of the pump output to meet the increased demand. If the actuator was operated slowly, or it was a small actuator, the additional fluid flow would be generated by closing the regulator valve slightly, with a minor movement of the accumulator piston to absorb the pressure surges as the selector valve opened and closed. As the system pressure is restored, the accumulator piston is forced back up to its normal running position, once again providing a reserve store of fluid for future use. If the pump failed when there were no hydraulic components in use, the fluid stored in the accumulator would try to flow back to the reservoir, but the check valves in the lines, sometimes called non-return valves, prevent it, so the system pressure is then being maintained by the accumulator until required again. This system pressure is now determined by the gas pressure above the piston, so if the gas pressure is low, so is the system pressure. When the pump is running, if the system developed a leak under pressure, such as a seal leak from the pump, the reservoir level would drop. When it dropped to the level of the standpipe, the pump would cavitate and fail, and therefore, without a supply of fluid under pressure, the leak would reduce or stop. This would leave the remaining fluid for the emergency pump. Check valves within the system ensure that this supply is only directed to the required services such as lowering the undercarriage, etc.